Hello, and thank you. Um, as you just heard, uh, today's seminar is on buckling restrained braced frames. We have a, a few learning objectives laid out for you. We want to cover the application of the principles of ductile design to this system, buckling restrained braced frames. We want to cover the practical considerations and the design requirements for buckling restrained braced frames. So we'll be talking about the building codes. And we want to uh, discuss the appropriate application. So you'll, uh, you'll understand when this system may be of use to you. So we'll cover applications first. Uh, we'll have a little bit of discussion of the principles of ductile design. And then we'll talk about the specialty braces themselves and go on to the design of the frames, specifying the braces and coordinating with the brace manufacturer. And then at the end, we'll cover some special uses, including nonlinear analysis. All right, so starting uh, with the applications, uh, you've probably seen in, uh, in many areas of the country uh, buildings under construction with, uh, with these braces that are typically Oh, a different color from the structural steel that's being erected. So this is a building under construction in Southern California. Uh, you can see the steel frame and the white, uh, the uh, white braces here, the buckling restrained braces. Uh, it's used fairly extensively for reasons that I will uh, I will discuss later in low rise construction, but that's hardly the only. Uh, uh, the only type in which this uh, system is used. Used in large buildings, uh, currently we're doing a large stadium using buckling restrained braces. That's not the only stadium that's been built with buckling restrained braces. Uh, this is a, uh, a large uh, building on the left. This is a high-rise building on the right uh, that uses buckling restrained braces. Those are outriggers, and we'll discuss outriggers later in this seminar. Uh, so the buckling restrained braces can be used in, uh, in certainly very large and, and tall structures. Uh, buckling restrained braces have also been used in retrofit applications. Uh, it's perhaps not the stiffest system that you can use in a retrofit. Often uh, retrofits of buildings are uh, focused on reducing drift, but uh, buckling restrained braces are reasonably stiff and can dissipate a lot of energy and can be used quite effectively in a number of retrofit applications. So uh, it's, a, it's a useful tool for a structural engineer to have uh, for a variety of applications. And it's useful to understand what the braces do and what the uh, braced frame system does for you. Um, it's a it's often worth considering as an alternative to special concentrically braced frames. The buckling restrained braces offer quite a bit of uh, ductility, which is often quite useful in seismic design. Uh, because, of the, uh, because of the high ductility, um, buckling restrained braced frames are given a better R factor, that is to say a higher R factor, which results in lower uh, design base shear and lower design forces for a lot of the structure. Also, uh, and we'll see the implications of this, buckling restrained braces, because it's a somewhat softer system than the special concentrically braced frame, uh, has a longer period. Uh, so in the approximate building period equations in ASE 7, uh, you will come up with a longer approximate period. And if you do the analysis of the structure, you will find a longer period for a buckling restrained braced frame building compared to a, a design for the same uh, for the same seismic um, hazard uh, that you would uh, for a special concentrically braced frame. Also, uh, as a as an incentive to consider the buckling restrained braced frames, uh, you should consider the uh, the connection expense. And we'll have, uh, we'll have a little bit of discussion on that later, how the uh, buckling restrained braces tend to reduce the required strength of connections um, overall. It's also uh, worth considering in, say, seismic design category C as an alternative to the R equals 3 concentrically braced frame system. 
even though there are no detailing requirements really for, uh, for R equals three, which is permitted in seismic design categories B and C, uh, it can be economical to uh, use a buckling restrained braced frame as an alternative.